Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll try to understand how to sketch graph of a rational function. And our concentration will be on understanding behavior near the asymptotes. Now the question here is, sketch graph of the function f of x equals to x squared divided by x squared minus x. It is always a good idea to factor the rational function and then we can look into the discontinuities. So I could write f of x given to us as x squared divided by, x is a common factor in the denominator, which is x minus 1 is the other factor. So it clearly indicates that x cannot be equal to 0 or 1. So we get possible discontinuities here. So we'll analyze these discontinuities to start with. As you can see, we have a common factor in numerator and denominator and therefore we can write this function f of x as equal to, if I cancel out x in x as x over x minus 1, right? Since x is a common factor, what I'm trying to say here is that I could cancel this, right? So once I do that, I can write this function as f of x equals to x over x minus 1 and of course the discontinuities will be at 0 and 1. But this particular common factor yields a whole, right? So, so we analyze that we get a whole at x equals to 0. So that implies that we have a whole at x equals to 0, right? Now what is the y point when x is 0? We can substitute 0 here. So we get 0 over minus 1, so y value will be equal to 0. That means the location of hole will be 0, 0 or the origin. So that is the first discontinuity. The second one is now because of x minus 1 in the denominator. Now what will that result into? Now x minus 1 is equal to 0 at x equals to 1, right? So that gives you vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. So this leads to vertical asymptote. And the equation of this asymptote is x equals to 1, right? So we got a hole at the origin, vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. Now, let's look into the end behavior or the horizontal asymptote for this particular case. The degree of numerator and denominator is same, right? Since the degree is same, what we notice is that the degree is same, right? For numerator and denominator. Is that okay? Now, since the degree is same, we have a horizontal asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote will be at y equals to ratio of leading terms or leading coefficients. So, at times, we can also write this as x square over x square. That gives us 1. Therefore, we have horizontal asymptote at y equals to 1, right? So that gives us some structure to work with, right? So what we will do now is we'll sketch the basic bare minimum so that we kind of understand how our rational function will look like. So we have at origin a hole. So let me draw a hole at the origin. Then we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. Let this be x equals to 1, a vertical asymptote. And a horizontal asymptote is y equals to 1. There it is. So this is horizontal asymptote, y equals to 1. Vertical asymptote, x equals to 1. Perfect. And that's the hole at the origin. Now, let's look into the end behavior or behavior near the horizontal asymptote, right? So we have our function f of x. Let me write in a different ink. So we'll analyze horizontal as asymptote for the function f of x. We can use the simplified version. We know that x is not equal to 0 or 1 in this case, correct? Now, to analyze horizontal asymptote, what we will do is we will find the value of the function at two points, which is one on the extreme left, one on the extreme right. That is to say, f of, let us say, minus 100 is how much? 
and f of plus 100 is how much? Do you understand? So I'll substitute a large negative value as compared to 100 is big enough. So you don't have to write 1000 or million, okay? So as compared to 100 is good enough. So we will use minus 100. So, so we have minus 100 divided by, don't forget the brackets, within brackets, write minus 100 minus 1 bracket close equals to. So what we get is 100 over 101, which is positive but less than 1. If I convert to decimals, I get 0.99, right? So this is equals to 0 0.99. Surely 0 0.99 is less than 1, right? This is 1 for us. That means we are approaching negative infinity from lower value, like this. Do you understand? Now, let us calculate f of 100 f of 100 will be 100 divided by within bracket 100 minus 1 bracket close and that is 100 over 99 100 over 99 is 1.01 so this is equals to 1.01 that means we are approaching here from the positive side do you see the difference right so that is the end behavior end behavior really is that when x is approaching negative infinity we found that y is approaching 0, but 0, oh sorry, 1, 1. It is approaching 1, but from negative side. Now, when x is approaching positive infinity, y is approaching again 1, 1 1.01 from positive side. Do you understand? So, it's critical to find the behavior of the graph of function near the asymptote. That clearly gives us an idea that this half is below the horizontal asymptote and the other half is above the horizontal asymptote. Now, let us analyze the vertical asymptote also. Okay, So now we will analyze vertical asymptote. So when you analyze vertical asymptote, what we are trying to see here is, vertical asymptote is at x equals to 1. So let's take a value which is less than 1. So what happens when x is kind of equal to 0. 9. And what happens when x equals to 1.1? Okay. So we can substitute these values and find the value of the function. So in this case, let me write f of 0 0.9 is equal to how much? And f of 1.1 is equal to how much? You can again use your calculator to calculate. So we get now this time 0.9 we are working on. So 0 0.9 divided by within brackets 0.9 minus 1 bracket close equals to it gives you minus 9 minus 9 means a negative large value so it's kind of approaching this side do you see that now if i substitute 1.1 what do i get 1.1 divided by within bracket 1.1 minus 1 gives me 11 so 11 is fairly high as compared to 1 right so if i put 1.1 I am approaching infinity towards infinity, but on the positive infinity side. Do you see that? So this gives me 11 and this gives me minus, what was it? Around uh, yeah, minus 9, I think, right? Okay, let me write that. Minus, negative large value, correct? So now with the help of behavior near the asymptotes, we can easily draw the graph. We can connect it like this. Do you see the right half? And the left half has to go through the origin, right? It's because we have a hole there. So let me draw like this and connect these two points kind of like this. This curve should be like 1 over x reciprocal function curves, correct? Since you know it is a reciprocal function kind of thing, x minus 1 the denominator. So that is how your graph should be. For accuracy, you can definitely take some more points on the graph. For example, you can substitute and make a table of values and let us say for accuracy, you don't really need if it is sketch a function, but if it is graph a function, I will recommend take at least five things to show. So in this particular graph, we are actually showing five things. One, we are saying vertical asymptote is at x equals to 1, horizontal asymptote y equals to 1, x and y intercepts we have a hole at the origin. 
three of them, right? Behavior near horizontal asymptote, behavior near vertical asymptotes gives you five things. But it's a good idea to find the value of f of x for different values of x. Consider the values like close to origin, which we considered like this, but you could do what happens when it is minus 1, and then we know 1, we have a discontinuity, 2, and for example, 3. So you can calculate these values, plot them on your graph for more accuracy. So that's a recommendation, but not necessary. In any case, you get an idea how to graph a rational function. So the steps involved are simplify the rational function, write it in factored form, so that you understand the discontinuities, then you analyze these discontinuities. Normally, the discontinuities will lead to asymptotes or holes, correct? Now, if it is a hole, find the location of the hole. That means both x and y value, as we found, it was the origin. If it is a vertical asymptote, find the behavior as we approach the vertical asymptote from the left side and for the right side. If it is a horizontal asymptote, find the behavior of the graph as you approach negative infinity and positive infinity. Take few points on the graph close to your horizontal, close to the x values near your vertical asymptote and within your range. Okay, Then plot accurately. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.